back up on the troll now uh, one of our buddy boats just hooked up two fish other buddy boat just got one so let's see if we can't put some tuna in this boat finally now put the icing on the cake for this trip maybe end it out with some mahi baby pump man i'm still reeling from that so cool Two on, baby. They seem like tunas for sure. So uh, I got the GoPro rolling from up top. I'm sure Dylan's got his on. Oh, we got three on. We got three on now, baby. That's three. You guys down there, hopefully we kill all of them. I want to kill all the tuna all the time. I mean, all the time, guys. That's all I want to do. Kill the tuna. All right, so we pulled the hook on one of the fish, so now we're tight to two. Real good for That's a really nice fish. Let's get a picture of him too. He's pretty. I wish we had chunked them all night. I mean, no complaints, but. Guys, that was it on the troll. We went uh, two for three on long fin and just one uh, shot, and that was really it for the morning troll. So we decided to bring all the big guns in and uh, switch over to pot hopping for mahi mahi. Jacks, yeah. Let's make sure we keep them. Oh, that's a good one, Timmy. Whoa! That was a good jump. Oh, yeah, they're getting frenzied now, guys. Look at that. I kind of want to jump in with them. Oh, look at that. That's my heat fishing. All right, guys, little little nomad. Let's see. Woo! You got them on your, oh, yeah. careful, bud. Careful, dog. <laughs> All right, let's see if they hit the, the top water. Oh, they love this jig. Oh, he blasted it. See him blast it? Yeah, he's on you. Oh, my God, he fired up. Oh, there he goes. Slow it down, Chris. Slow it down a little? Pause, like pop, pop, pause. OK. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he nailed it. Oh, he nailed it, dude. That was so cool. Let's make sure we keep throwing chunks, guys, because they're with us. We're away from the pot. Oh, I got a good one, guys. I got a real nice one. I got a good one, guys. Woo! I got a good one. Look at him. Look at him right. No, I want to go swimming. Look at him. Look at him. Look how fired up they are. I got a good one. Oh, they got pretty. Oh, this is awesome. Look at them. This is my efficient, Dylan. Oh, that was nonsense we were doing. All right, we got to be careful swinging this guy in. I don't want to swing this guy in with this, you know, with the trebles. There you go, guys. Got him on the top water. Instant, instant eat, he said. All right, make me proud. Look, I'll show him his head. Wait for, wait, wait for his head. There you go, Zach. You got him. Good stick. Got pretty guys. Nice mahi. So what we're gonna do is just fill the box with mahi. Timmy's got one. Craig's got one. Everybody's got one. Oh, he nailed it. Dude, I can't hear the right Oh, dude, they just hit it like real slow. They like it. Look at them. Look at them going, dude. You got them. Yeah, they're popping, dude. It's so fun. To, you actually oh gotta, you actually gotta move it real slow. Oh, so much fun. Dude, they want it like. Oh yeah, Dylan, you got a good one, bud. Oh, I'm in. There he is. Come on. Dude, the slower the better on this thing, Zachy. Look at that real singing, baby. Oh, that's a nice one, Dylan. Dylan's got a good one. I don't care about it. Now they're still plowing it. There you go. They just won't commit. Oh, there he is. Coming yeah, you got a good one. Woo! Zachy, we got another gaffer. Hey, mate. Yes, sir. Can I have a killie, please? Oh, yeah. Hey. Mate boy. Killie, please. Thank you. All right, guys, let's try killie. Oh, mate, another killie, please. Oh. Putting Zachy to work today, guys. Come on, uh -huh. come on, Mike. I got a killer killer right here. Oh, yeah. Get my jig back. Thanks, bud. Hold on, I threw one away. Let's see if I can get him going. So, guys, my favorite, I actually like live bait. Because I like to see him chase after it. Guys, this is really neat. Uh, Dylan's 16. Uh, he basically grew up in the same town I did, and we just kind of connected on YouTube. Really cool. He just reminds me of young me. It's really neat. Um, he's as pumped as I was when I was his age. And now I've been doing this for 20 plus years. So it's really neat to see his excitement. Um, and hell, I still get excited too. So that's fun, guys. Good way to end the trip. Good job, Dylan. Dude, you got him on the jig, bud. That was so cool. Yeah, it's a little one. Oh, no, they're there, they're there, they're there. Throw a couple chunks. I know, I just wanna, whoa. That one seems like a good one. Oh, I got a good one, guys. Oh yeah, there we go, I got a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Oh, dude, I got a nice one, guys. Oh, yeah. I want to see the tuna show up. Look at him. Look at him. Right next to the boat. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, I got a nice one. Look at him, look at him, guys. Let's see if he eats it right there. He ate it right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? He ate it right there, guys. Did you see that? Woo. Jump right over Dylan. There you go. Zachy, you want to come down and play, bud? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Having fun? 
Oh, I got a nice one. Check out the mahi just swarmed around the boat right here, guys. Just awesome. Uh, this time of year, September, October, is actually the best, in my opinion, for mahi-mahi fishing. Uh, you can get them right behind the boat like this, frenzied. Uh, we caught, I don't even know, we lost count. Uh, we kept less than our limit. Um, again, these are the fastest growing fish in the ocean. They have a lifespan of about three years. Uh, they're sexually mature, uh, I believe, just within a few months of, of when they're born. So I never mind harvesting um, a good amount. Uh, they never go to waste. Uh, my cell phone usually is blown up by the time I get back to the dock um, from friends wanting fresh mahi fingers. So uh, we kept a decent amount. We let a lot go. Uh, great way to end the trip. I'm going to gaff his, Chris. Oh. Yeah. Or Craig. Craig's good gaffing him. No, I don't want any more of these guys. You open a jack again? Yeah, yeah gaff that. Gaff that thing. Almost... Right behind you, or on the ladder. But then I got that. Oh, he's little as fins. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Alright, Scott, now. I got down. I got down. I got down. Craig oh, is awesome. Oh, he's on, he's on. Oh, man. That's a good one, Timmy. Spot. Here's more good ones like this down there. Oh, he dropped it. Whoa. Oh, my God. All right, guys, so we're back in Atlantic City. Chris is helping us out way in again. We're at Offshore Bait and Tackle. Right here on, uh, what's this, Maryland Ave, right? Yeah. Welcome to Atlantic City. Let's do the bet. What are we betting on? I don't know. 217. 217. I think he's like, I think he's going to be 215. I'm going to say he's uh, 226 pounds. I was going to say 220. Okay. Yeah. I said 268 in the boat, but that's only because we were holding him. No so way he's fast, fast, you know? All right. Uh, how long does this count right here? Really? No way. How's that boss? <laughs> Hello. Not as big as we thought, huh? What? Not as big as we thought. No. One more. You alright then? That is a big oh, ball right ball. there, dude. Yeah. Long fin. Long fin albacore. Got you on video, hon. Alright. What do you got there? All right, guys, so we're back at the dock. Big swordfish weighed in at 153. Um, we thought way, way heavier. The three of us can't lift this thing. Two big long fin, all the mahi mahi you can want. Great trip, great way. All right, everybody, it is uh, 6.30 p.m. on day two. It's now Monday. Uh, I just sent Zach and Dylan off. Um, Craig and Timmy headed back to Pennsylvania. Timmy is now living in New Hampshire, so he's got an 11-hour ride tomorrow. Um, but guys, I don't know how, I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is, but it's absolutely beautiful out here. It's light winds. It's nice and, nice and cool finally. Um, man, guys, did I need that. Um, work's been tough. It's been stressful. Um, you know, I've been short-tempered. Everyone knows when I need to go fishing, and man, did I need that. So I hope you enjoyed riding along with me. I hope you, you really appreciate how much we love it, the enthusiasm. Um, just being out there 100 miles from land um, in the midst of mother nature it's just awesome man it's just it just cleanses the soul it cleanses your everything it just recharges your battery I can't describe it and um, it's really awesome if you ever get a chance to do it do it and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching man thanks so much all right guys so we got Yasha's mom oh, mom Ma, where are you from in India where are you from Chindigarh. Punjab. Punjab, okay, all right. 
New Delhi. New Delhi. New Delhi. All right. And guys, today we are having fresh mahi mahi Indian style. This looks delicious. Wow. All right. Something new to me. Say hi to the world, Caden. Hi, world. Hi, Uncle Chris. How about you? <laughs> so this is called fish pakora. Oh, that looks good, bud. We have a camera. Can you take the chutney out? Pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm over at my buddy Yash's house. He lives right across the bay. And hopefully we'll see the sun go down tonight. Because these views are amazing. Guys, so one of the joys of catching all this beautiful tuna and all these swordfish is I get to share it with friends and family. So you can see here these beautiful steaks of the longfin tuna. Um, again, this is what you get when you're getting that um, solid white um, longfin uh, albacore in the in the star kist, you know, at the, at the store. So we're gonna bag these up, share them with family and friends. Again, Yasha's mom is doing Indian style mahi mahi. We're gonna make up some swordfish. We're gonna have a little party. Yasha's an old man. He's 41. Check this out, though, guys. Look at these. Come on in here, Yasha. These perfect steaks, guys. So you can see the long fin is a little bit whiter than the yellow fin and blue fin that we usually get. Uh, but it's really good. I had some as sashimi, and uh, it comes out great. With the whole roll, so you better watch uh, what you say. I better not make a face. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Delicious. Let me try the green stuff. Hold on. Good. A little spicy with yeah. extra taste, but it's good. A little good. spicy. I think I... Whoa. The thing about um, Indian food, and again, this is authentic Indian food. Yash is um, born and raised in, in somewhere around New Delhi, India. So um, his mom spent his whole, her whole life there. So you're not going to get more authentic than this. There's such different flavors that, man, oh, man, you just you never thought would combine together. So many different spices. It's delicious. This is the real deal stuff, too. So, mahi, so good. Man, man. Just to end out this video, beautiful sunset. Grilling over at my buddy Yash's. So we got the long fin on the right. We got the swordfish on the left. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, Alana had a, an acting gig today. That's pretty cool. It's her side job. So let's see. Let me know. How is it? Well, I gotta put the soy sauce, but well, let me try it without. So that's long fin. Good? The long fin's a little drier. Delicious. The soy will help. I want you to wear the soft. Guys, there's a swordfish. Look at that right off the grill. Let's see if Mikey likes it. Oh, yeah. Piece. Gotta have the skin. Just take a whole piece, Mikey. Well, a little cola in here. Piece at a time. 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 A little soft, a little tender. So tender, dude. Super juicy. You dork. Oh, yeah. Is it good? So good. You're not just saying that? No. no. Tastes like Mako, right? Oh, so good. Tastes a lot like Mako. Yeah, yeah. You know, only salt and pepper, is it? That's all you need, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Guys, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that bell to the right so you get notifications for future videos. Uh, lots more videos coming up, guys. As always, man and women, I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Adios.